Hello everyone, my name is Rahil Mujahid. I am a 13x Microsoft certified as your professional and a Microsoft certified trainer as well. So in this video, we are going to discuss about DP900. This exam is one of the entrance level examination if you want to start your career as a data engineer. So we'll discuss everything, uh, costing and you know what was the level of my examination when I did that. So uh, we will discuss each and everything in this particular video. But before starting, make sure you subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon. So whenever I will upload any video, you will be the first one who notified for the same. So let's do it. Okay, so now let's talk about uh, DP900. But uh, before starting, let me compare two examination. That is uh, AZ900, second is DP900. So first of all, if I talk about uh, AZ900, so this examination is something uh, we can say uh, entry level examination when you start your journey on Microsoft Azure as a whole, right? So in AZ900, we cover around, you know, uh, basically the infrastructure, how the complete Azure platform is working right what are the basic services we have on microsoft azure so these all the services we cover in microsoft um, um, az 900 examination it is the fundamentals of microsoft azure so we cover uh, for example what is region what is region pairs what is availability zone so these kind of uh, infrastructure questions or we can say the knowledge or information we cover in az 900 now let's talk about uh, dp 900 so basically dp 900 is more specific to data services for example if you want to start your career or maybe you have been working on data services you have been working on databases stored procedures and um, storage services so this is the first entrance exam for your career and uh, let me just remind you again it is like a more specific to data services right so of course if you are a data engineer and you want to go for certification so this certification is the one from which you can start your certification journey that is dp 900 examination so let me just share my experience with the dp 900 so again as I just mentioned in my last video about uh, AZ900, the same thing I would like to say again that since it is a basic level or we can say entrance level examination, so you don't need to be an expert in these services, right? The basic information, basic knowledge is more than enough just to pass out these DP900 examination. You, you should know how this complete flow works, right? When we talk about the ETL, right? So you should know how this works, how you can extract the data from the source system, how you are going to modify it or you are going to transform it in any another form, right? And how you are going to visualize this data uh, by using any software. Let's take an example like Power BI. So you should know the high level overview how these things are working and they will give you one scenario right and you have to uh, provide the solution right maybe they will mention that yes this is my problem now you tell me what kind of uh, uh, service you are going to use on Microsoft as your portal so you have to just suggest that yes this is the right uh, service or this is the right solution for this particular problem okay second is let's take an example like uh, we have uh, storage services on microsoft azure for example blob storage file storage right azure table storage if i talk about databases so we have different different databases like uh, mysql postgresql cosmos gb right that includes uh, nosql and uh, rdbms as well and one of the very we can say promoted service from microsoft is uh, mi instance managed instance so you should know in which scenario you are supposed to use which kind of storage services or we can say which kind of database you are supposed to use so again they will give you one scenario and they will give you the options that in this particular problem which database you are going to use the options would be like mi instance um, and uh, uh, we can say cosmos db and uh, many other options so 
you have to give the answer that yes if this is the problem then yep probably we can use this solution we can go for the mi instance or maybe we can go for the mysql so these kind of uh, uh, answers you have to give in dp 900 and uh, trust me if this types of questions comes in so and in the options there is a mi instance so as per my personal experience uh, in 90% questions the answers would be the mi instance because of course it is something you know offered by microsoft so they always they always try to uh, promote this particular service so of course it is not like that that every time you, you are supposed to just click on the mi instance only no but yes as per my personal experience the most of the answers in databases is uh, you know mi instance because it is it is like a very 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 good service it's a complete managed service from microsoft little bit higher in costing but yep this is very very useful service so just cover these services uh, as your storage uh, as your blob storage and uh, file storage queue storage table storage and database part as well what is the exact difference in nosql and uh, uh, sql services right which you should know how this works and uh, how you can just connect these services in between as i explain the source and then your modification transformation and then the exact uh, from where you want to show this data right where you want to visualize this data so you should know the basics of power bi as well right how you can write the queries in the dex part how you can uh, you know establish or um, uh, uh, create ki uh, any kind of a dashboard or any kind of a report just a very high level information would also work when it comes to dp 900 right so that's it about the uh, information uh, i can give you about this uh, dp 900 if i talk about the uh, you know the questions what i received in my examination so questions was 45 all right and uh, of course i did this i just completed the examination around in 15 minutes because of course that was very very basics if you have worked on these services more than two or three years so you don't you don't need to read anything you can just go ahead and schedule this certification and you will definitely pass out but of course if you are a uh, new in this particular field or you want to start your career as a data engineer then of course you have to go through the theories i wouldn't recommend that you have to go through the practical since it is a very very basic part so the theory knowledge would be more than enough for the dp 900 examination but just focus on the theory maybe around uh, uh, one month or maybe two months just uh, follow the curriculum provided by microsoft and then you would be able to pass out the certification so i hope this video will be helpful in your uh, certification so before leaving make sure you click on the subscribe button and uh, click on the bell icon as well or make sure you follow me on LinkedIn and Instagram as well. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.